One of the things that we commonly hear is, uh, will a curve progress? And the common question is, uh, well, what about during puberty? Um, yes, and that's often used uh, to then drive the importance of um, having some type of surgical procedure. But another question might also come about, well, can a curve actually reduce during the growth spurt period? And yes, I'm here to show you a couple of uh, examples of what takes place, both getting worse and also improving in the same person within a very short time frame. So let's take a look at this young lady's curve, which was taken on the 18th of May. Uh, she has a high S-shaped curve. So there it is there. And it's a 49 degree curve in here and approximately a 40 degree curve uh, down below. I think it might have measured about 38. But we'll just take a look at the primary curve in this picture here. And that was done on the 18th of May. So there it is, 18th of May. But let's now fast forward through to the 14th of June. And that's just this photo here. The curve has gone from, how do we say, <clears throat> 49, and it's now jumped to 52. And that's on the 14th of June. So we're looking at around uh, just less than a degree a week um, here in terms of its progression. And <clears throat> the curve has now gone to 52 and the bottom cop angle is at 39 degrees. Uh, this is when she actually started care. And <clears throat> we'd already identified the fact now that the curve has gone up approximately a degree a week. So we call that a progressive curve. And it's pretty frightening because a degree a week over a period of, say, four months is approximately about 16, maybe to 18 degrees in four months. And that would uh, send a shiver down any parent uh, for their child to be progressing um, so rapidly uh, with the curve that is becoming an obvious deformity. And no parent would like their child to have an obvious uh, deformity unfolding. What we did see was in a week's time again, this curve had gone from 4, uh, 52 degrees to 54 degrees. And that was um, in an attempt to try and reduce uh, the curve. And we were um, unsuccessful. We just couldn't uh, seem to stop it in that period of a week. And what's interesting is that without the x-ray, the young lady may have thought that she was getting better because she was receiving treatment. And that's not really accountable enough. So a subsequent x-ray was taken uh, some six days later. And you can see that the curve has actually jumped up another uh, two and a half um, degrees, <clears throat> or just over two degrees. And that's like a degree every three days. Um, that's pretty frightening. And so one attempt uh, to try and reduce the spine did not work. And uh, then we, we took another film uh, seven days later as well. And we started to see that not only did the top curve come down, um, but the bottom one also dropped as well. And those sorts of <clears throat> habits, such as sitting with a heel on a chair or resting on an elbow or lying down on a side can actually be very useful even during the same growth spurt period, reducing the curve as well. So it's very early days at the moment. Will we be able to contain this curve? Well, it's looking a little bit more optimistic now that both the top and the bottom um, aspects of the curve have come down. But you'll see that curves can progress in an alarming fashion. And it does often drive the need for surgery. I'm not suggesting the need for surgery. I would be thinking that if there are simple ways that can actually be introduced to a young girl's posture and habits, and mind you, all of this was done via telehealth, so there's no real um, intervention from a practitioner doing some type of manipulation or adjustment or helping out with certain stretching techniques. Um, this is all done via a hands-off protocol where an analysis is best done in the home and using telehealth is just ideal for that. But really the point of this video is curves can progress and they often do during growth spurt. Is it possible 
that the growth spurt is not actually the cause of this progression, and that can be easily answered if the curve starts to reduce. And we saw that within this period of time, within one week, and we're looking forward to other changes that are also taking place as well. I was addressing today the rapid progression of a curve and also during that growth spurt, how the curve can also reduce as well. So for more information about obtaining results where postures and habits, importantly not exercise, but habits themselves, can reduce curves in time frames that are, I guess, most convincing. Um, in this case, he started on the 25th of April, then the 23rd of May, and then the 10th of June. These examples of reduction and increase are not uncommon. And yet the good news is, is that we often don't hear about how good the reductions can be. So if you'd like to learn more, um, go down to the description section, find the contact details down there and reach out to St Jude's Clinic. People like to see results and people like to do so without the need uh, for surgery and what can be done naturally. They are, are messages of hope. Thank you. I'm Daniel Dada.